I'm dying alone. <laughs> well, you have commitment like every other guy in this freaking universe, you know? <laughs> Before, anyway, I got licked by a dog in the eye and um, I had to go to the hospital after it. <laughs> so I was terrified of dogs ever since then. <laughs> well, there's really bad things happening in the ocean, and I think that there's going to be an environmental collapse. I think my biggest fear is probably death. <laughs> so if I didn't fear death, I'd probably be like skydiving and stuff like bungee jumping. Like a lingering disease. That would really be something I would be very afraid of, uh, that I would catch a disease that um, I would just last and last and I would be disabled and not be in, be able to be independent, have to be dependent on others. You're losing really close friendships, because uh, as we all know living in New York, it's really difficult to find really close friends. Because I, I have anorexia, um, so that's a big fear, like food is like, it's not really food, it's like the fear of like imperfection is really big um, for me, which can manifest itself in a lot of ways because, I mean, like, you can be imperfect in, like, anything, really. I didn't have to have lockdown drills at school when I was a kid. We had tornado drills. Now they have lockdown drills in case someone was coming to shoot the place up. So. When she was young, I worried about her dying at any moment. Um, now I worry about, you know, if I'm doing the right thing by eating french fries. The, the thing God, about it is, gosh. it's like when you, think, when you think about it, your fear can stop you from doing a lot of things or reaching a lot of goals or going to a lot of places. But that's that's the fear thing right there. It's like you know, it's not. I'm not worried about tomorrow, but I'm worried about young people. What are they gonna do? I can get a job. Going into a job that I would hate for the rest of my life, and I think that's and just not following my dreams. So that's one of my biggest fears. I don't know. I think I've right always just seen comfort. like my family. Like, when did you like stop following your dreams, kind of thing? So I've always like that's been why I think that's where it stemmed from. But it's those type of fears that and those type of doubts that make you want to achieve and, and give you purpose to keep going forward. If you didn't have those, if you didn't have the downs, then you wouldn't have the, the ups. So, what would it be? It would be someone who's just like drugged out and you know, happy all the time but not feeling anything, so.